Hey guys, uh, what we're going to do in this video is learn how to import different modules into a Python script, and we're going to learn about regex. So what's a module? Basically, it's an external library that you can include and use in your project, uh, providing additional functionality without you having to write this additional functionality. So for example, uh, we are going to go ahead and import re, which is the regex library, and that's how you import something. Just type import and the name of it. Now, re is uh, included with Python, and so there's nothing that we need to install in order to use it. So now the basic usage, uh, well, let's get into regex. So I'm going to go ahead and create a string, and it's going to say, I am not yelling she said, though we knew it to not be true. Now, basically, uh, regex is not part of Python. It's kind of like a mini programming language that you can use in basically any programming language. So, I mean, you can use regex in Python, in PHP, uh, in JavaScript, you know, Java, C++. So regex is basically a way to match certain characters and then do something based on that. Now, as you can see on uh, Wikipedia here, uh, there's standard libraries for uh, .NET, Java, Python, C++, uh, and there's some built-in for Perl, JavaScript, etc. So uh, this is not Python specific, and we're only going to cover it uh, to a limited degree uh, as we need it. So in this instance, uh, we're going to be learning a few things for in the next video. So let's go ahead and start figuring out how to use regex. So the first thing we're going to do is, you know, if I print string, you're going to see it says, I am not yelling, she said, though we knew it to not be true. Uh, so we've got capitals, lowercase, we've got a period, comma, and quotations. So let's go ahead and play around with this a bit. So I'm going to create a new variable called new, and it's going to be equal to re.sub. And what we're doing is we're instantiating the re object that we imported at the top of the script, and we're calling the sub or substitute function on the re object, which the sub is built in to the re object. So just like calling any other function, uh, when you call a function on an object, uh, you need to put the parameters into the parameter list. Now, uh, we haven't discussed classes and objects yet, and we're going to get to that, but this is, you know, we need to know this for the sake of this video and the next one. Now, the three parameters that this substitute function takes is uh, the matches that we want to make, what we want to replace them with, and then the string that we're going to manipulate by doing this. So we've already got the string stored in the variable named string. Uh, let's go ahead and cover some matches. So let's say we want to remove all the capital letters. Uh, so what we're going to do is basically open and close square brackets. Now rules in regex are contained within square brackets. So if we wanted to remove all the capital letters, I mean, we could go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, you know. Uh, we could do it that way and list out the entire alphabet, but regex actually provides a way to not have to do that uh, by allowing us to choose a range of letters. So this is going to say any capital letter from A to Z we want to replace with nothing, and we want it to do this on the string string. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Now if I print out new, you're going to see that it removed all the capital letters and left everything else intact just the way it is. So we could also do the same for lowercase letters. So instead of removing all the capital letters, it's leaving everything except the lowercase letters. Well, let's say we want to remove all the special characters. So what we can do is actually we can put multiple rules inside of the square brackets. So let's go ahead and put period, comma, and then let's backslash to escape this uh, quote. And let's hit enter, print it out, 
you'll see that it removed all the punctuation from our string. Now let's go ahead and combine this with the lowercase letters and then additionally uppercase letters. We're left with nothing except the spaces. You can't see them here, um, but there are spaces here. Let's go ahead and leave the lowercase letters just so you guys can see. There are spaces. Uh, so there's about four right there, uh, you know, and so we've got spaces. So let's remove the spaces as well. How we're going to do that is within here, put a plus sign, and then uh, we're going to open up quotations and put an empty space and then uh, close the quotations. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's add actually. So let's go string equals string plus uh, that. And then let's print out string. And what you can do uh, as well, you can actually create new equals re.7. What we're going to do here is we're just going to tell it to remove anything except numbers. We actually need to put that in quotations. We're going to replace anything that's not numbers with nothing. And we're going to perform that on the string. So now if I print out new, you're going to see that all that remains is the numbers. So that's the extent to which we need to learn regex in order to do uh, what we're doing in the next video, which is building an awesome calculator.